What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to another Let's Talk where I talk about all things queer that have interested me in the past week. Let's get into this. So the first thing that I want to talk about is a new TV show that started up this past week. So the show is called A Discovery of Witches. It is a supernatural fantasy show set in London. So obviously as the title suggests, it's got witches in it, but it also has like vampires and potentially other mythical creatures in it. When I first heard about this show, I honestly, I was, uh, I was on the fence about my thoughts on it. Um, but I kind of like kept it to myself because I wanted to watch the first episode first and really get an idea of what it's going to be like and what the feel of the show was going to be like. And honestly, after watching the first episode, I really liked it. I really liked the sort of atmosphere they got. Uh, I love the mood that they're playing with. Um, I just, I like the show. One episode in anyway. So we'll have to, I'm, I'm keen to see where the season goes. Honestly, I really love the main chick. Her name is uh, Teresa Palmer, I think she, I think that's her name. She's Australian. I love her. Uh, they also got the dude who's like the other main character. He was on Imagine Me and You. Um, and that's all I can think about when I see him. <laughs> And I don't hate him, you know, like all he wanted was to, was for Rach to be, to be happy. Um, and I can't fault him on that. So I don't hate him completely. I'm not completely sold on them as like a potential couple yet. I mean, if you guys, I'll have a link in the description to the trailer. If you guys watch that, I mean, it's pretty obvious where they're heading, but that's obviously not the queer. The queer actually comes in the, like, the main chick who's a witch. Um, her aunt is a lesbian and she has like this partner and literally like the opening scene of them is like them in bed together. And I adore them already. I adore them already. So yeah, I'm, I'm very keen to see where this season of A Discovery of Witches goes. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm from the first episode, I'm intrigued. I like the characters in it. Um, I'm not completely sold yet on a couple things, but I'm I'm very I'm very keen to see where they go with it. Um, yeah, so I thought I would let you guys know, uh, so you guys can go check it out. I'm excited for it. I really am. It's I, it's got that sort of like you know that that feeling you get where it's like something could potentially be really good, and you got that like anxious sort of feeling. Um, <laughs> that's what I'm getting with this show. So hopefully it pays off. Hopefully it's a it's a great show. Um, yeah. So next thing I want to talk about, I've got a few movies that I want to talk about and I guess let you guys know about if you guys don't know about them yet, though I feel like if you've been on social media at all, you probably will have heard of at least one of these. <laughs> so honestly, over the last couple weeks, um, my Twitter and Tumblr timelines have been buzzing about A Simple Favor. So A Simple Favor stars uh, Anna Kendrick. I love her. I love her so much. I mean, you guys probably know this. Uh, huge P Pitch Perfect fan. So I've loved her from that and all sorts of things, right? Uh, it also stars Blake Lively. She's gorgeous. I'm a big fan of her. Um, but yeah. But yeah, my timelines have been going off their nutter about this movie because there was like a scene leaked, I think. I don't know if it was leaked or I don't know. But uh, it went around the internet of uh, Anna and Blake's characters kissing. So of course, internet is fully on board and everyone's been talking about it over the last couple of weeks. And honestly, <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one, but I'm not hyped for this movie, to be honest. I haven't. I wasn't before that kiss got leaked and honestly, now that I've seen the kiss, I'm like, oh, okay, I've seen it. I really, it hasn't added any more hype for me, but that is just me personally. I know I'm probably like in the minority here. So I thought I would let you guys know about A Simple Favor. Uh, I believe it came out last week. I haven't seen it. I I probably will wait until it comes out in DVD, to be honest. Yeah, I'm just, I, I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just not really keen for it. So, but I, yeah, that's, that's, that's out for the majority of people, I think, right now. Next up is Lizzie. I talked about Lizzie a little while ago. It's sort of like a retelling of the Lizzie Borden story. It features uh, Kristen Stewart, which I am so keen to see this movie. I'm really, really keen to see this movie, but I haven't really talked about it yet. Um, because it's not showing in theaters anywhere near me, but uh, I believe it's out currently. I think it came out on the 14th um, in some select theaters. I believe 
I'm probably just in the US, so if you're in the US, uh, you might want to check out if it's ha happening near you. I'm I'm super keen to see this. Um, I really don't have much else to say uh, other than what I've already said in previous videos. Um, but I did want to let you guys know for those that have the potential to see it, it's it might be out near you. But I'm probably have to, gonna have to wait until it comes out on like DVD or digital to see it because nothing ever comes out here. <laughs> also, Colette, I think that's how you say it, um, is a movie that stars. Kira Knightley, love her. I honestly have had like the biggest crush on her since Bend It Like Beckham, right? <laughs> so she's starring in the movie Colette, uh, which is coming out on the 21st, I think. Again, I think it's select theaters. Uh, it's not coming out anywhere near me. Um, so again, I'm probably gonna have to wait until it's out in DVD or digital. But for those of you that uh, are in the US or somewhere that it is airing, Go check your theatres um, and check it out. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty keen for this movie as well. And also The Miseducation of Cameron Post. I believe this came out a little while ago. Honestly, like the release for this movie has been a bit everywhere. They've had quite a few like film festival showings. Um, I think it might be released officially in theatres in the US now. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's not out <laughs> like all the movies, it's not out where I am and I'm probably gonna have to wait until it comes out in digital to see it. Um, that's why I haven't really talked about any of these because I just haven't seen them so I don't have any new information or new thoughts. Um, but yeah, for those of you that are lucky and have theatres that get movies <laughs> near you, um, yeah, definitely go check out uh, Miss Education of Cameron Post. Colette and Lizzie. I'm really, really keen for those three movies and I cannot wait till I can see them for myself. Um, and I will make videos on them at a later time when I actually see them and have thoughts on them. Um, but I thought I'd let you guys know in case you guys have the ability to go watch it, go watch it. But yeah, that's about it from me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new. Uh, I also have a whole bunch of merch out, like this uh, Queer Shipper t-shirt. I also have it in like jumper form and like long sleeve t-shirt form and like singlet form. It's in my merch store, along with a whole bunch of other designs. That's in the description below. I also want to give a big thank you to my Patreon sponsors. We got Marissa, Corey, and Kathy. You guys are incredible and help me do what I do. But yeah, that's about it from me. I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.